I am uh, because the Ravens know what it means to have a franchise quarterback and what it means to try and win games without a franchise quarterback. With all due respect to Tyron Huntley, who was a Pro Bowl. an AFC yeah, yeah an AFC representative in the Pro Bowl, option four thousand six hundred thirty-two. Um, look, this is this is really interesting on so many levels because we have been talking about this Lamar Jackson potential contract extension for years. Now, there are a lot of complicating factors here, okay? One of which, it, which hasn't been discussed enough, in my opinion, is that Lamar doesn't have an agent, which yeah. means he's involved in all of this, and he's not helping himself, in my opinion, along those lines. Now, you could also say, well, the Ravens you know, also worked with Roquan Smith, uh, and got a $100 million contract done, even though those aren't the real numbers. We all know that with Roquan Smith, and he doesn't have an agent. But it's difficult, and it's different when it's a quarterback. What I found interesting, uh, not only about the non-exclusive tag, because the Ravens are basically saying, okay, uh, Lamar, this is what we've offered you. You don't think that's enough. Why don't we let the market dictate what you are? Right. And if that's the situation, then then we'll see what we have to deal with. So this is where Lamar not having an agent right now. This is what's, in my opinion, what's really hurting. It's one thing to negotiate an inside linebackers deal without an agent. OK, it is another thing completely to try and negotiate a quarterback deal uh, in a quarterback driven league where, let's be honest, half the league is looking for an upgrade at that position. Yeah. He's 26 years old. He's a former league MVP. He's been to the playoffs multiple times. He's won a playoff game. Um, and, you know, people are going to start saying, well, the injury bug. Well, let, let's let's be honest about that. I'm not sure how much down the stretch of this season was injury and how much down the stretch of this season was. I'm not risking myself until I know I have a deal. OK, so th there's there's that part of it. And I think there's a lot of people that believe that uh, the way Lamar plays might not help the team long term in terms of a fully guaranteed deal because of the of the potential injury. Um, then that that certainly has to be part of it. But I just want to go back to something that Ravens owner Steve Bisciotti said about a year ago. It was March 29th, 2022 at the NFL owners meetings. This was right after the Deshaun. And again, everybody blamed the Browns. OK, we've been saying this forever. All these Lamar Jackson problems are because of the Cleveland Browns. And by the way, that's checkers to chess, baby, right there. When the Browns screwed everything else up so bad uh, with that deal, they're screwing one of their division opponents potentially out of their quarterback. So maybe maybe they're sharper than we think. Not just a division opponent, Trey, but yeah. the city that stole the Browns from Cleveland Correct. to begin with. Correct. So if you want to go down that rabbit hole, it's really fascinating. But this is what Steve Bashotti had to say about the Deshaun Watson contract just about a year ago. Uh, I'm trying to answer – that's when I had a reaction to him. It's like, damn, I wish they hadn't guaranteed the whole contract. I don't know that he should have been the first guy to get a fully guaranteed contract. To me, that's something that's groundbreaking. It'll make negotiations harder, he added. But it doesn't necessarily mean that we have to play this game, you know? We yeah. shall see. If I was bogged down in negotiations with Lamar, then maybe I would have a quicker reaction to that news. Wow. Which is a fancy way of saying if that Bashadi was the first guy to fire the mark out of the cannon here about – as an owner about the Deshaun Watson contract and yay verily here we are in this mess. And I do feel like Steve Bishotti, the owner is drawing the hard line here and maybe Eric DaCosta, the GM and uh, John Harbaugh, the head coach have a little more feelings about making sure they get this deal done with Lamar Jackson. There are so many complicating factors into this and, and I understand all of them, but I can't, I can't help but go back to this. It was a year ago. A lot of these teams, uh, the Falcons, uh, the Panthers, were almost all the way in on Deshaun Watson, who is a very good quarterback but doesn't have Lamar Jackson's resume, had been away from football for almost two years before he ended up playing a regular season game in 2022, and had 25 to 26 allegations of sexual assault against him. And all these teams were like, what can we do to get you to be our quarterback? And now they don't want – a former league MVP who's 26 in his prime and has had multiple playoff runs and has won a playoff game 
suddenly you're not interested in him at all, yeah. none of this smells right. 